Hey guys, iDevice Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has released iOS 13.2 beta for to registered developers now public beta testers you'll most likely see this software update populate shortly in the next couple of hours by the time you watch this video it might already be out for public beta testers as well as apple is ramping up production on this software which brings a ton of awesome features and Talking about features, there's a few that are just not fully working 100% as intended. We'll go over some of the details. The latest build number for 13.2 Beta 4 is 17B5084A. And I think Apple is going to be releasing one more beta as a gold master copy before iOS 13.2 is officially released to everyone worldwide. Now, if you watch my previous video on where I talk about when Apple is going to be releasing iOS 13.2, the day for 13.2, everyone will see this on the 29th or the 30th because Apple on their website announced the brand new Beat Solo Pros and this product releases on October the 30th and this product requires iOS 13.2 in order to work properly so I don't see Apple releasing 13.2 later than that and if you purchase the Beats then you can't use them so it looks like Apple will most likely be releasing iOS 13.2 to everyone on the 29th or the 30th of October. And we could see another beta as early as this Friday the 25th, if not Monday, as the Gold Master copy to address some of the additional concerns with this software. This software came in at approximately 160 megabytes from beta three to beta four. And I've been working around with the audio share, which is one of the features coming to this software. And it looks like audio share is working properly as of right now, but only with Bluetooth devices like headphones, AirPods, and Beats products. However, with other iOS devices or iPads, it is not working properly. So that's why I think we'll see another beta before 13.2 is officially released on the 29th or the 30th, or maybe Apple will scrap the feature altogether, which will be very disappointing. Now, iOS 13.2 brings announce messages with Siri. I also did some initial testing on this as well. You can find this under the Siri and search extension and settings right here it is. And uh, this feature initially uh, is working fine as of right now on beta four. So hopefully Apple keeps it in place and it will be launching with 13.2. So that feature is now on every device that's running uh, beta four 13.2. And another feature, another major feature coming to 13.2 is transfer to HomePod. So if you're listening to music on your iOS device, you get home and then you transfer the music over to HomePod by holding your iOS device next to the HomePod. This feature isn't working properly. And the reason it isn't working properly is because the HomePod has not received an update in a very, very long time. The HomePod is currently sitting on iOS 12.4. So we'll most likely see another beta, beta five in the next couple of days alongside a new release for iOS uh, 13 for HomePod as well. And everything should be wrapped and ready to go by the 29th of October. We should see the software with all these new features that I just mentioned, including HomePod support and also an update to the HomePod. So this was just a quick initial update. The beta is currently out. Stay tuned for my follow-up. Of course, I'm going to be doing a follow-up on this software as I usually like to do. Talk about the battery, the performance. You can expect that here in the next couple of days. And of course, I'm also going to be doing additional testing on this software before it is officially released to let you guys know if it's worth updating in regards to battery and performance and all that good stuff. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.